It's a challenge every day if you're a farmer or a rancher. You depend on the weather and the farming business. Right now we're in the midst of a, of a really long, hard drought. A lot of our rural communities are in decline. A lot of people are having to leave and go seek employment in larger cities and other areas. We wanted to find a way, you know, to keep our communities up help the school systems, and help landowners stay on the land. I appreciate whoever has been innovative enough to realize that we could use the wind as a, a source of energy and that everyone in the, these communities is benefiting from it, from the school districts to the townships themselves to the landowners. The wind blows almost every day. So it's a guaranteed renewable resource in our area. And we knew the income would be stable and uh, consistent. We opted to do a community model project where everybody in the footprint would get income from the wind development because we are a close-knit community. We want to educate other landowners and even the general public about the renewable energy industry, you know, what it does, what it provides. We're looking at the future and I think it's a future we need to embrace. It was my wife's dream. She suffered from Parkinson's and couldn't do much else, but she would get on the computer and, and do all the, the research and a lot of the communication. And uh, it was a joy to see her, before she passed on, to see a wind farm out her window that she could enjoy and, and know that she had a part in the completion. I get a good feeling when I look at that turbine. I, I take pride in it. I'm proud of it. You can get tired of the wind blowing in your face every day for day after day, but now when you want to grumble a little bit about it, you can look over there at that turbine and you say, well, that's good. That's good. <laughs>